Good morning. We are over here at one of the school bus depots in Arlington. And this is a site you have not seen in some time. A lot of people coming in today, school bus drivers, getting ready to take their buses out. They've been doing this for a couple hours. We were here um, just after four this morning and people started coming in shortly after that. The parking lot really filled up. But just take a look. This is something that a lot of people are happy about, a lot of people are not so happy about. We talked to a lot of parents today and you can of course find those stories on firstcoastnews.com but the ones I talked to, you know, they had finally made the decision, already made, this was just kind of the big day so they're really encouraging other parents who also made this decision to try to stay positive about it, especially for their kids. One mom said she'd be sending texts to her uh, child throughout the day just kind of hey remember to wash your hands if you're gonna take selfies don't do it really close with your friends and that sort of thing um, even the students one of the parents had her son with him there with her there and she said he said that the distancing would probably be pretty hard you know he hasn't seen his friends in a while but a positive thing he does say that he thinks it'll be a lot easier to concentrate he had some trouble with the virtual school so there's some positivity right there and of course we're gonna have team coverage the whole rest of the day this first big back to school day here in duval but for now i'm renata de gregorio in jacksonville first coast news on your side